What's going on, crew? Clutch here. Welcome back to the Flint Hills Roleplay. Guys, we've got the 8970. Been busy working away on this old tractor. We've been we've been putting some work in. Putting some work in on this new farm up here. I mean, stuff is plowed. We've taken care of the fields around here, but we still got lots of plans for this area. You might remember that uh, while we had a horse barn here, we still want to build this up. We want to make this kind of the main farm, to be honest, guys. I really want to build this into the main farm area. But that's going to take a little bit of work today. So... That is our plan. We're going to build today. It's spring on Flint Hills. We got some building to do. New farm build. Let's get it on. Bitter patter. <laughs> So before we start building, we've got to sell some stuff first. I want to get some cash going here. We're going to empty out some of the corn. Prices are really good right now. So we're going to dump out the corn as much as we can. I mean, we've got an absolute boatload of corn. Is that empty? Is that we full? We full up here? Take, take a look. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at all this corn. We've got so much corn. We don't even know what to do with it. In fact, guys, you remember that, uh, that flood, that bad weather we had out here? Yeah, that took care of a lot of farms for us. We actually got pretty lucky. You might remember while we were taking care of this massive field here. Uh, we got all the corn off that. We got all the corn off all our fields. But it seemed like a lot of the fields that were down to the south, they got hit a lot harder than us. And they lost their crops. So corn prices actually are really good this year. We're going to make... Uh, well, we're going to make... We're making a mint on this, let's be honest. I've been out here hauling... I've been hauling corn all day. Which is good because I'm, I'm really going to need the money. I'm definitely going to be... I mean, we're building a new farm. I need to get new equipment for that side of the farm as well. You know what? It's it's going to take a little bit of going on because uh, we don't have too, too much money to get started here. But after we're done with this corn, I think we'll be good. I want to buy some new tractors. I am. I'm done. I, I want to get rid of the old stuff. Well, I don't want to get rid of it. I just I want to upgrade. Now, I don't know if we'll be able to upgrade everything. In fact, maybe we'll keep some of the other equipment on the other farm for the time being. Let's go weigh this in here. Pull into the co-op. Uh, 87,000 pounds. Uh, not bad. All right, let's go dump this in. Yeah, guys, it's been really well. We're doing really well with the corn. You know what? I, I know some other guys are hurting a little bit this year, but man, we're we're doing we're doing real well. So I'm gonna take all this money. This is gonna go into our new farm build. Uh, I can't wait to get on that because that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be something. But I do want to buy some new equipment. We need some big tractors. I need to update. I mean, you guys remember what I was doing last year? We were pulling the John well, this <laughs> is massive bin, that auger wagon with the old John Deere. Yeah, I don't want I don't want to do that again. Let's not do that again, okay? I think it's it's time we can treat ourselves. Once we get, we'll get we're gonna get the thing built today. We're gonna get the farm built, and then next uh, next time, well, we'll buy equipment. That's the plan. Thirty nine thousand pounds, perfect. Log that. Let's go. What is that? Eighty nine thousand minus thirty seven thousand. Carry the the one double. And... Yeah, it's just a, it's a payday for old clutch. That's what it sounds like to me. All right, so we've got lots of corn left to sell, but I want to get I want to get busy building. Uh, best farm, best farmer in farms, best builders in farms, Sam, that's right. We're going to do some building right now. Uh, we need to get, well, we're going to need a silo up here. We're going to need some shops. Uh, what else are we going to need? I don't even know. I do want to do, uh, we're going to do some horses up here. We need to compete with a certain someone who's got lots of horses going on in here. And uh, we need to add some horses to this area. This was the plan all along is to put horses up in this neck of the woods. We do have a whole section kind of at the back of that tree line back there. We're going to be able to put some more stuff, but for now, we're just going to build. We're going to put some uh, shop buildings down here. We'll worry about the horses later on. I'm not going to deal with them yet. We we'll keep it fairly straightforward. The house. Oh, the house. Gertie wasn't really happy with the stabbing cabin, so uh, she wants to move into this house. So I was tempted to take this out and knock her down, but Gertie's going to stay here. And we'll maybe BRB the, the stabbing cabin, I guess. I don't know. Anyone want to want to rent that place? No takers, eh? No? No no takers? Nah. Uh, Anyways, I think in uh, so smaller silo up here, we're going to leave the main silo down at the farm. I mean, that's a million dollar silo we got back on our farm. We'll put a silo down somewhere over in this neck of the woods. We're going to put some shop buildings down over here. We're going to leave that little barn up for now. We'll see what we can use it for, but uh, I think it's uh, it's all going to come together. Let's get to work, guys. I think it's time lapse time.
that's the rough in. Uh, we still got lots of work to do, of course, with, well, a bunch of landscaping. All right, silo. Smaller silo, of course. But for the size of what we're doing up here, this is, I just want something I can kind of quickly drop stuff off. We got to fix some terrain here, it looks like. Uh, this is where it loads up, of course. Movable. Of course, it's all underground right now. We need to fix that. But anyways, and then our drop, of course, right in here. Looks good. It's very simple. Nothing crazy as far as our silo. We got the big silo back in the main farm. This is just going to be our temp storage one for, well, we're pu pulling fields off this far side over here. Back on the side, we've got, well, this is our main storage equipment shop. This is the plan right here, guys. Open this up if, if we can. Can we open this? There we go. We'll use this storage shop for, well, the, all the equipment up here for the most part, guys. This is going to be the main equipment from combines, tractors. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. And then over here, well, of course, we need a workshop, right? You got to have a workshop up here. We're too far from home to be dealing with that. Uh, and this one's got an extra added benefit if I can get through the door. Okay, apparently I've put on some weight. I can't fit through the door. I'm, I'll go through the garage door. Uh, added benefit. Oh, another door. Another added door. Come on. Ready? One, two, three. Run. Run through the door. Nice. We've got a place to stay here. So if we're up working away, I don't feel like going all the way home, guys. I've got an office space up here. I've got a couch to sleep on. I got some TVs. I even got well, laundry. I even got laundry up here, guys. So, uh, you know what? We got double. We're double duty up here. That's perfect. Get it? <laughs> double duty. So that is the plan with that decent shop. We got equipment shop and a silo. I still need a bale barn. That's one thing I don't have up here yet. Uh, I think we got space kind of still in behind. Maybe right in the middle here. Eh, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know. We've got space even on the far side here. Even right, right here, guys. I could, I could put a bale barn right in the middle here. And then it's kind of easily accessible. Yeah, that might be the best bet because I'm not going to use this little spot right here for anything. Other than that, I don't have any access to seeds. I don't have any of that kind of stuff up here yet. So I do have to plan that out. Fertilizer. Uh, what else? Fuel. We need fuel up here. We got no fuel up here. I need to put a fuel tank down. <laughs> I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long till I'm back at the farm. I'm pulling up the truck down at the dock. It's time to do some cruising, baby. Get a little stuck. It's a Saturday joyride. ride. Percy Beast is the spot. gonna do for now i think that's good you know what let me give you a walk through here now you saw we widened this road a little bit i thought long and hard guys should we put fences down 
I mean, we could put fences all the way down. Ugh, fences are such a pain, though. I don't know if I want to put fences in or not. It's just extra expense, and I'm just going to run into them. Let's be honest. Silo turnout, okay. I'm not 100% happy with the gradient down here. The load in's a bit more of a pain than I was kind of anticipating, to be honest. So we got to come in and wrap around. And so I made it kind of like there's a turnaround right here, so you can pull a Yui. You can, you can hook it around quickly and head back out if you need to. So that's the idea with that. That's why we made this little bump out right here. Road is a little bit wider. Of course, we got our bail barn right here. Or just general storage with skid marks. Levitating skid marks. Seed, fertilizer, fuel, and what is it, herbicide and pesticide back there as well. All down this alley right here that leads right out into the field. Looks good. Of course, the shop. You guys saw the shop. Everything looks good there along with our little, uh, our little hut. I plan on putting the barbecue someplace else, but I just needed someplace to cook. And it's close by the door. Y you know what? It's not... This isn't our main house, so it's, it's good enough for now. And then Gertie's shack... I mean, we made it look a little prettier. It needs some more grass. It's getting there. It's getting there. We got some space up here. Gertie's, you know what's better? She's got a little veranda off the back. She's got her work shed so she can actually cut this grass. And, uh, and then, of course, in behind here, guys, we've got a large parking pad because, you know what, with a farm, I always run out of space for parking stuff when you're moving stuff around. So I try to give as much space as I possibly could right here. I think this isn't bad. I think we have enough space to, you know, park a few combines, park some tractors, some bins, whatever we need around here. We'll have some space. So that's um that's it. What do you guys think? Not bad. I think this is a this is an upgrade actually to what we currently have for space. Uh, as far as our our horse farm, I'm thinking we're gonna have to go on the back side of the silos over there and then lead in that way. I think there's a, well there's a roadway we can go in and then maybe put our horses in behind that. That's my plan for now. So this is gonna be our start, guys. We'll see uh, where we go with this. I'm pretty happy with this build, though. So, folks, that is, uh, that's that's going to do it for us today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Slap the like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will catch you next time. This is Clutch from all well, the Flint Hills roleplay. Over and out.